Hello Vikings and welcome back to another Assassin's Creed Valhalla video. In this episode we are gonna go through the Holy Knight pack that has recently been added into the anime store. Two different variants of this pack, but first let's go through the mounts. The first one it is gonna be the Cat Paluk. Hopefully I did pronounce that one right, but the description is really funny in my opinion. Kitty, little kitty, with one claw. You kill the fisherman's family. Kitty, monstrous kitty, one day you will sit on King Arthur's dead body. So, kinda funny, pretty cool looking. Then we are moving to the raven, iron claws. And this raven looks almost the same as the iron raven that we are getting from Dawn of Ragnarok in Svartalheim. Description of this flying beast, it's red colored alley shows the aggressivity of this flying beast. One even claimed to see it rip enemies heads off with its sharp claws. But definitely, if nothing else, the red color is giving this Iron Raven a pretty cool vibe, in my opinion. Moving on to the Sword of the Damned. The perk of the Damned Sword, the crown is sanctified on the light finisher dealing area damage. I think most of us have seen that on Andy Reload's channel and the perk of this weapon it is pretty cool. But moving on to the heavy shield, the shield of the blessed. The perk of this weapon release a wave of light that deals area damage after blocking five times. So actually I don't think that is that bad, like at all. But let me know if you are gonna buy this. And no, I'm not recommending buying anything from Helix Store because in my opinion every pack they are way overpriced because these are mostly cosmetics. But moving on for the first set, the Holy Knight armor, the blessed one, the perks, the two set perk increase health when equipped, and the full set bonus, you are paid it in Holy Light reducing damage you receive by 15%. These descriptions, they are pretty pretty interesting. And one thing I noticed for it, both versions of the sets, the 5 set perk, it is exactly the same and also, note, Ubisoft also did copy paste the descriptions of each item on the other set. Just look it up while we are going through this video. But in my opinion, the Holy Knight set, I don't care and I actually don't spot. Is this a reskin or not? So let me know in the comments down below. Definitely the helmet parts and usually the cape parts, they are usually the different pieces but maybe something from the Wayland or Raidmar's armor something like that well whatever the case is it is looking pretty cool in my opinion while we are going through the gauntlets the pants look at the description box of these items and then look at the items when we are going through the fallen set the fallen version of this set yeah lazy job in my opinion But moving on to the Holy Knight, the Fallen set, the two set perk, increase armor when equipped. So, in Blessed we are getting health, and in Fallen we are getting armor. Five set perks, they are exactly the same, and the descriptions of the items, they are exactly the same. But still, both of them are looking pretty, pretty good in my opinion. So, let me know in the comments down below what you think. And which version of these sets are most appealing to you? I kinda have to say I am Fallen with the Fallen one. The red, gold and black combination. That is just awesome. Here are the items once again. Kinda wholesome but still I don't think it is worth of 20 bucks, 20 euros. And huge shout out to my channel members if you want to be part of that elite wolf pack you know what to do but for now let's roll the outro thanks for watching remember to hit the like hit the sub turn on the notifications so you won't ever miss anything that i upload or when i go live also vikings have fun stay safe be strong hope to see you in the next one skatha over and up and bye bye